So this is the experiment number four of Power System Production Lab. And the object of the experiment is to study the construction and principle for operation of a directional earth fault relay. So shown over is the circuit diagram employing the components that will be utilized in order to implement this practical. So each of these components will be discussed in the upcoming slides and will be related with the, uh, the experimental setup or the appliances that we'll be employing in the experiment. So this is the experimental setup and if you look into the components so identifying the lamp loads so we have a, a varying load this lamp load will be operated with switches that are connected the specification of lamp load is it will be operated into six in six steps and the operating voltage is 230 volts so this is the step down transformer the the specification is 0.64 kva and the voltage that is a step down is from through 230 volts to 50 volts this is the current transformer that will be operated at 440 volts the ratio at which it transforms is 10 amperes to 5 amperes this is the amp ammeter which will be measuring the line current the load current well this is the double pole switch in fact mcbs are used in place of the switch double pole switch this is the time meter the circuit of the time meter is shown in the circuit diagram well this is the relay and the components have been also shown for the relay the rating for this type of relay is uh, 0.2 amperes to 0.8 amperes and the operating voltage at max will be 63.5 volts presuming that you already have studied about the, uh, the directional force relay in the theory classes and we suggest that you go through the theory part of this practical and if you feel any problem or doubt you can post on the google classroom as well so shown here is the directional earth fault relay of inverse type and which has time setting and plug setting so in order to change the time of the relay you'll have to change the time setting for changing the plug setting uh, to, uh, to obtain the to obtain a specific plug setting multiplier you'll be changing the setting at the plug setting side so let's see how does this relay operate so the uh, spindle is attached to an induction disk So once the current goes above the rated current, the disk rotates and will allow the relay to operate by making the contacts like this. So let's have a close look. So this is how the spindle and the disk rotates. So it's going back. Once again, on allowing the current to go beyond the limit, the disk rotates and will make the contact. So, shown over here are the circuit connections using the circuit diagram. So, now we'll be perf performing experiment and taking observations for time setting taken at 0.4 and plug setting 0.5. And in the next step, we'll be changing the plug setting to 0.4. And we'll be observing the, we'll be increasing the fault current. So this is, in fact, this can be varied by uh, increasing the load. So when we are going to increase the load, the current will keep on increasing. And we'll observe the time that the relay takes to operate. And eventually, when you're going to increase the fault current, the time taken by the relay to operate will decrease. So let's see. Let's note out the observations. The sound of switching can be heard as well as the clicks that will be heard are the clicks will be the sound made by the relay when the contacts are made.
Likewise, a set of readings can be taken for, by changing the plug setting to 0.4 as shown. And now you'll have to prepare a report accompanying the, uh, the following questions. So one for the first question is to compare the measured and calculated values of time and comment on the result. Also comment on the shape of the given time versus plug setting multiplier curve. The second is discuss the construction and operation of time meter. The third is discuss the field of application of this relay. Fourth, describe in, fee, in brief the utility of the definite minimum time lag and time setting multiplier. Fifth is explain the function of the flag relay. And sixth, how is the inverse characteristic obtained, obtained from static circuit? So for this, you can refer to the books that books that had been mentioned in your syllabus of power system production. And if you have questions or queries related to the experiment that had been performed, you can post it on the Google Classroom.